Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are in the Highlands, northwest of the Northern Aqueduct, building a medieval tavern. This build will feature the use of the Dude's Delightful Decorations mod. This mod was suggested to me by Roy McClellan on my Aquilonian Temple speed build, and it's only took me about six months to try it out, so I'm timely as ever. As always, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. With the new Summer's End deal, you can get 68% off a two-year deal when you visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt, or use code eradyt at checkout. Stick around to the end of the video to learn more about how to unlock the full potential of the internet with NordVPN. So, without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, we're going to start off with, of course, the base plate. I firstly use the stone tavern foundations to create a small entryway that will help guide customers into the build then using fence foundations to mark out the rough structure of the build and then covering those fence foundations with wooden tavern ceilings. I'm aiming for a really simple tavern that captures a really rustic and warm atmosphere that really captures the feeling of a modest village tavern you might expect to find in Skyrim or something of the sort. Next, for the walls. I used a mixture of plain walls, patterned walls and windows to get a mix of textures in the walls. These walls are really quite nice, they capture the feeling of a medieval tavern perfectly. This mod does a great job of capturing that aesthetic actually and translating it into the game, with almost every single piece in the mod. I built the walls two tiles high, separating the main bar, the side rooms, the bar and food area, and the two back passages that will lead to the staff section and the rooms above the bar. After building stairs up to the first floor, I then partially covered the walls with wooden tavern ceilings, then giving the overhang support with tavern pillars. I then built the walls of the first floor up, separating the overhang section into a narrow corridor, leading to four separate rooms above the tavern floor. The intention is that travellers will be able to rent out these rooms to stay in overnight. Thank you. 
Next for the roof. I chose the tiled insulated roof pieces as the mod has augments for these pieces already and the texture really does suit the medieval aesthetic very well. I built a flat peaked roof finished off with rooftop pieces. I had some clipping issues with some of the pieces but managed to fix those issues quite easily. After building the roof I then chose to remove the windows I placed earlier and used a different base style window. This allows for more depth on the exterior of the build which I thought it was lacking and I think suits the tavern a bit better than the original choice. Next I built a roof over the rooms above the tavern. This is much the same process as the first roof, just a tad larger and with more of those window accents, and then finally adding the finishing touches with doors and fences around the build. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to, of course, furnish. Approaching the tavern, I've lit the build with braziers outside and hanging brass lanterns inside to get a very warm lighting that suits the build. Thank you. 
Entering the tavern, the main floor of the tavern is actually deceptively large, offering plenty of seating options in the main hall and the two side rooms. I've also added access to the rooms above the tavern from the hall here, so that patrons can avoid using the back stairs if it's raining, and if you've spent any time in the highlands you'll know it rains a lot. Entering the bar area, plenty of alcohol is stored here ready for sale, along with a small stove and some skinned and prepared animals ready to be served. This is by no means a Michelin star restaurant, but the chef is ready to serve some delicious tavern food at a moment's notice. Heading upstairs we reach the rentable rooms and the balcony. These are simple, humble rooms that provide a nice place to sleep for a night or two for those travelling the exiled lands. Of course, the tavern wouldn't be complete without an occult weirdo lurking around. And there we have it, a medieval tavern in the Highlands, northwest of the Northern Aqueduct. Thanks for watching, and thanks to Roy McClellan for mentioning the dude's delightful decorations mod a while ago. Though it might have taken me, you know, a long time to check this mod out. I saw it recently on the workshop and remember that I was suggested to use it, and I must say, I'm pretty impressed with the mod. As I mentioned earlier, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. If you want to stay safe on the internet and ensure you can't be tracked by shady individuals, or whilst being able to access Netflix, BBC iPlayer, ITV, Hulu, HBO and more regardless of where you live, all whilst maintaining blazing fast internet speeds, NordVPN is the perfect choice for you. 
When you use my link or discount code, you can get 68% off a two-year deal, which comes out to $3.71 a month, an absolute bargain price for such a great service that I use almost every day. The software is a small download and it's easy to use one click and you're both connected and protected, and you have full access to the internet. Nord also has very strict policies on protecting your data, meaning you can browse in confidence. Visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt or use code eradyt at checkout to claim this huge discount and get the best VPN service available on the internet and also help me out a lot at the same time. As always, thanks to Nord for sponsoring the video. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos. As usual, absolutely anything is welcome. Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch and join the fun on our Discord through the links in the description. Again, don't forget you can get 68% off NordVPN when you use code ERADYT at checkout or you can go through my affiliate link in the description and pin comment below. YouTube is currently my full-time source of income, so if you enjoy the content and would like to help support the channel so I can continue to put out the best content possible, do consider becoming a patron. There are multiple tiers of support from $1 to $20, offering many different benefits from a mention in every video to Discord roles and even sneak peeks of every new video before anyone else. The link to my Patreon is in the description, so if you'd like to support the channel feel free to consider becoming a patron. On that note, a thanks to our current patron Sammy, Sir Dialot, Randar, Dawnfox, MK Pantheon, Sergeant Swede, and Shannara. If you're new here, feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are new Cone Nexiles videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you like what you see, subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video, and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.